everybody my name is analytical plum and welcome back to my channel happy late easter as i am recording this it is the 2nd of april i thought that since it is the next day of the 1st of april that it is the perfect time to go through and look at a bunch of april fall products the companies like to put out april falls ads or funky products that's what we're going to be looking at today i did see a couple yesterday that i thought were actually quite entertaining and funny so i think there is a bit of hope for this year but i guess we'll just have to see before we begin i would appreciate if you would consider subscribing i do post twice a week but don't hold me to that and if you do love my reaction videos i would love if you would consider liking it helps me out a ton and without further ado let's look at this year's april fall products the first product slash advert we're going to be looking at is heinz i'm not sure if heinz is in america but if you don't know what heinz is it's a company most known for ketchup and baked beans lovely baked beans especially on toast don't judge before you try it and they decided to put a product out for this year's april falls so heinz has decided to bring out a ketchup toning shampoo delicious right <laughs> Now, I don't really know much about toning shampoos. I just assumed that it was for blonde people to make their hair less ginger. So that's the extent of what I know about toning shampoos. Yeah, I, I think I would rate this April Fool's product a 1 out of 10. I'm going in quite harsh to start off with. And I'm going to give it a 1 out of 10 because, number one, it's just the exact same packaging just with a different label so you know a bit boring a bit unoriginal you can get that on Etsy for like a quid or something so it's not exactly something that's magnificent but then it's also a kind of a funny idea but I'm also really disgusted so it's not exactly something that's made me laugh yeah no I give him an extra point for taking that picture in super drug. <laughs> Love me a super drug. Packaging is absolutely a no-no. Concept is quite good. I just think they could have done something else. But good on you for trying, Heinz. <laughs> so for this next April Fool's, I'd say it's more of a concept. I, all I'm saying is that I hope you like curries. <laughs> so, for this year's April Fools, the company Curries have come out with a Curries for Tech scheme. So, you know how usually you would give in your technology to these places like Game or the dodgy shop on the corner? They would give you money for it. Well, this year, Curries have decided on April 1st that if you hand in any of your old tech, then you get a selection from four curries i believe so as you see here you can get a mix of masala which is a world bin of taste and flavors you can get an air fried aloo a crock pot ato vindaloo and a curry's curry which is supposed to be purple somehow <laughs> again if you don't know what curries is it's just a tech company ish you know they've got laptops fridges air fryers that sort of thing it's really funny though because when i see videos of americans coming to the uk and they see a curries they don't expect it to be an electronic and tech shop which really amuses me because it's also like they're just like little toddlers in a way but then i feel like i'd also be the same if i ever went to america no idea what a 7-eleven is all i know about 7-eleven is that it just is a petrol station and you can get really really big slushies which kind of makes me sad because i really like slushies and i can only get the really nice ones that are really expensive in the cinema the tango ice blast but anyway apart from my tangent so this is the very nice man who would give you some curries in exchange for your technology it's safe to say it was all april fools it was an april fools prank so you don't actually get any curry <laughs> which actually is kind of sad because i was saying about it with my partner it actually would have been a bit more funnier if they did do this but then i suppose who would want to give up their electronics just for a curry 
I still have a few things loitering around that just don't cost you anything if you were to give it in. So I think having it loitering around where I wouldn't get any money compared to handing it in for a curry, I would have loved that for a day. <laughs> so my rating, definitely a lot better than the Heinz one. I'd rate this probably a 6 or 7 out of 10 i'll give it a 6.5 because i can't decide i love the concept love the purple curry you know standard trademark as i said if they actually would have done this for a day i think that would have been even better but i love the pun it's a really good idea so not bad not amazing quite okay now this one is definitely not a PG one so I can leave a timestamp if you want to skip this in case you're either watching this video out loud or you're with family members who would actually have an aneurysm if you spoke upon this topic so the timestamp is around me if you wanted to skip it but if you are you know living life on the edge then feel free to stick around for this one it's quite exciting <laughs> but this one is from Hanks never heard of the company before but i thought that this was such a funny idea that i decided to keep it in today i don't even know if it's a real company but i just thought it was amazing so hanks decided to team up with a wine company who doesn't love flavored lube every now and again you know especially prosecco flavored this is what's quite good about this as well actually because despite the jokiness about all of this they actually do give you a discount code on both the hanks's website and the wine slash alcohol company they partnered with so you do actually get a benefit out of this not just giggles you know i'm quite curious i feel like this could actually be a thing you know there is strawberries and i don't know is there other flavors i don't really know <laughs> but i i genuinely feel like that would be such a cool idea <laughs> No, I just think this is so funny. I think, especially with the coupon, it's definitely a useful April Fool's joke. Apparently it has extra sparkle and tastes like peaches, apples and pears. So if you're alright with those flavours, then this is definitely the product for you. I would rank this a 8.5 out of 10. I know I'm bringing out the points, but that's just because I can't decide. I'm being a bit indecisive. I think the concept is absolutely hilarious. I love this. I honestly think that they should do that. I think it will sell out pretty well, especially for the older ladies. <laughs> Who doesn't want that on a, a self-love night? You know, you have a bit of chocolate, bit of prosecco and then his little friend <laughs> but yes apart from that i also love the fact that you actually do get a discount code or a percentage off so it actually helps i gotta get my headphones for this one it's a video you know this company are actually putting in the effort for this joke i think i won't say anything about this ad <laughs> for this company i just think i'll let you enjoy you know the experience of this advertisement and then we can talk about it afterwards first we went to the moon then we looked to mars now we're exploring a new frontier what's it gonna be uranus yes <laughs> who gives a crap is sending toilet paper to our number two favorite planet this is an unprecedented mission to one of our solar system's gas giants. All gas giants need toilet roll. In terms of space travel and toilet paper, we've really just cracked the surface. Get behind the mission at tp2uranus.com. <laughs> oh, it is so beautiful. I fully support this space mission. <laughs> I don't even think I said that right. Space. Space. <laughs> so if you didn't get the gist of that who gives a crap which is i don't really know them they've been popping up a lot they're kind of like the wild deodorant that you just get adverts for constantly on youtube all i know is that they do toilet rolls but they're quite expensive toilet rolls so they're kind of one of those companies they decided to do a citizen's job to send their products to uranus which 
I think deservedly needs some new role because who doesn't when you're a gas giant? <laughs> so far of everything I've seen, this has got to be my favourite. I mean, I know it's like toilet jokes, but you you can't not laugh at toilet jokes. They're just always some of the best. <laughs> yeah, I would definitely rate this a 9 out of 10. It's amazing. They even did a video to go along with this, which quite a lot of companies don't even do. Like when I was trying to research this, the majority of the <laughs> April Fool's products were on like Metro and that. That's what nans read. So it's like they didn't even barely have anything on their social media and I think this was the best one to actually access and watch. <laughs> 9 out of 10. This next one I was actually really confused about because everyone else around me that I saw react to this genuinely believed it was real and so I started thinking it was real and I was like oh there's no way it was possible so then when I was researching for this video I found the link for it on the on the website and I just kept scrolling through it and more and more kept popping up that I was seeing and I was like yeah no it's definitely an April Fool's joke and yes this April Fool's joke is from Lego as you can see by those menacing eyes it's quite a big one it don't even fit on the screen we'll go through this website together so as you can see here it says assemble as we slowly scroll this very very large minion so assemble the minion 18 plus set 102,213 pieces do you know how big this is 250 centimeters this minion is taller than me look at his smug face look at his smug face no you gotta love his little shoes though <laughs> to be fair the size of his feet is probably gonna be the size of my face but that's not all people this is super sized tim we love a tim i don't remember ever b there being a tim in minions ain't it stuart stuart bob and i don't remember the last one wait look he's big he's bold he's very very yellow so this is what we get for the website tim is taller than the average human so this is the average human i think that average height is taller than me still but we'll move on. This is Super Size Tim against a human standing on a mini fridge. Now, this is Minion against a human standing on a mini fridge with two bananas on their head. A bear with a frog on its head. The frog got a bit splattered. But don't worry, the frog is into it. I hope so. I hope they're not talking about into the floor because we can see that right there. <laughs> this is Tim against the world's tallest cat sitting on a stack of 276 fluffy pancakes that's definitely such a specific number do you think they actually tried to work that out i don't know how they would be able to work it out and they're fluffy ones as well how can they be fluffy if a cat's on it to be fair how's it still standing if a cat's on it cats are known for knocking anything over and this is the last measurement we get super sized him against a very short wizard wearing a very tall hat Oh my god. The instruction manual is 8,947 pages. How, honestly, how big is the Bible? So according to Amazon, the Holy Bible, the New King James Version, apparently it's burgundy, if that helps, is 1,504 pages. So you actually get a more fulfilling read if you read this manual. <laughs> That's not all. For this you do get a giant gift with purchase which is safety straps and as you can see here they wouldn't recommend you lifting it you can forklift it but they won't give you that forklift so if you have the safety straps you can do that as a fun date night and carry that together wouldn't that be lovely? And the last thing here is the group or affiliates are not liable for any lifestyle disruption arising from having supersized Tim living with you at home and looming over all the things. <laughs> Consult your chiropractor before and after assembly. Such wise words, ain't it? And if you're too impatient to wait the 16 hours for Tim to come out, you can build these teeny tiny sets while you wait. The Titanic, the Orient Express, that 
absolutely tiny. Yeah, honestly, when I first saw this, I was crying of laughter. <laughs> reading through this page of my partner because my partner he absolutely loves lego so he scrolls through the page quite a lot and he knows quite a bit about it so everything i know from lego is basically from him so it just made everything every single little bit of detail adds to this april fool's joke and i don't even think they've come out to say it was a joke yet i mean this could possibly be real it would be amazing if this was real but i assume that it's an april fool's joke based on everything we just read you know an instruction manual bigger than the actual bible but the burgundy version i would actually rate this a 10 out of 10 love it love minions i know some of you have mixed feelings about minions so maybe this is a minus 10 for you because this could actually be your worst nightmare <laughs> but i love this i i can't get over this <laughs> We're on the last one now. This one definitely is one of the most amazing I've ever seen. And it is a Cadbury product. And if you didn't know about Curly Whirlies, they are a curly kind of like DNA looking-ish caramel with a chocolate layer. Milk chocolate. Easy, simple. Well, Cadbury decided to come out with straighty weighties. <laughs> So, you got no more curls, no no, no more of those wells, no no, no more connections, just one straight line. Because who needs a curl? Curly whirlies are not it anymore, it's the straighty weighties that you want. <laughs> if you usually have a curly whirly in your lunchbox, no more, you gotta have a straighty weighty. <laughs> No, but imagine going into a shop trying to find the straighty weighty and you're having to go to the worker saying, please, can you tell me where your straighty weighties are? <laughs> I love this. Although it does remind me of, you know, at Christmas when it's the match matchmakers, I think it is. I only eat the honeycomb ones because the other one is either mint or orange and I don't like either of them. Absolutely amazing. I'd say this one's a 10 out of 10 as well. Can't go wrong with it. <laughs> So that is all of the April Fool's products I'm going to be looking at today. We had quite a good run of products this year and adverts. Yeah, we're sending toilet roll to Uranus. <laughs> I think they'll be very grateful over there. <laughs> Yeah, the only really disappointing one was the Heinz ketchup one. Love the concept. Again, just the packaging. What was going on? Seriously, it's like, you know when you go on Amazon and you want to get a jokey gift and they make like, swear words into chocolate bars with the names or you write someone's name and then wrap it around it. It's just like that. It's just, you know, it's something we've seen before. But that was the only one that really disappointed the rest I thought were absolutely amazing but yeah that is it from me today comment down below any that you really really liked or if there was one you liked that I didn't mention in my video of course definitely varies country to country so the things I saw were from the UK there may even be better ones from different countries that I'd love to see but yes I hope you enjoyed the video and I will catch you all in the next one.